Wolf. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's a bit early. this and this because otherwise I won't feel the benefits when I get out. <sighs> Much better. We are locked in on the sat nav saying 99 miles. Gonna get there at 9.24 and today's adventure is with Barney and me. Um, we are off to the Lake Districts to have a weekend of pet gun dog training uh, run by Jane Arden. So I've seen Jane at the APDT activity weekend and knew that she's well respected and lots of people said a lot of positive things about her course so I thought hey let's give it a go. Let's have a bit of time for just me and Barney and uh, yeah see if I can learn a few more bits and bobs because I probably don't use his gun dog brain as much as I should do, but that's what this is for. I didn't have when you kiss me. So me and Bill have arrived, oh my dude. and it's a glorious day in Coniston. There's Jane, she's helping us all out and I've got some, got some pals to do some bales of hay with. And you're having a nice time aren't you my boy? a bit of sad news here. Um, Barney's got here and he's started to take part and he's started to show some real lameness on his back left leg. So I'm asking him to just settle down for a bit and uh, giving him a bit of a rest and then uh, we'll see how he is in the afternoon um, and we'll go from there. Sandy and Sandy owns and manages uh, Coniston Cottages. Can you tell us a little bit about the cottages first before we're going about the the weekend that we're having, which is gorgeous by the way. Well done for organising this weather. I know, the weather's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> always like this in Cumbria, isn't it? Always. Every always. day. It's 10 cottages, soon to be 11. Most of them are dog friendly. Seven of them are situated in Little Arrow where we are now and they range in size from two sleeping up to 12. Um, I'd like to think that I owned all of them, but I actually managed them on behalf of the own owners, apart from two. Tell me a little bit about how and when you got Jane to start thinking about coming up here and having this weekend. Well, I did a little bit of training with Jane down in 
at Wagawaffins in Bury, mm -hmm. and it was in, indoors. And um, so I invited Jane to come up here and do some training, and why not stay at the same time? And so that's what we did. We, she stayed, she gave me some training, and then we just had a chat, and we thought it would be quite a nice idea to, to see if it was feasible to put on a, a mm. weekend for people with pet gun dogs. Mm. And how do you think it's gone? I think it's gone extremely well. Yeah. Yeah. For the first first time for sort of a, a very organised event, it's it, it's been really well. Yeah, I would agree. Um, from from the kind of participant side of it, it's very much just been come, relax, exercises, relax, exercises, relax. You know, and and then the chat in between is lovely as well because yeah. that's what that's what like I'm finding now. The more that I'm in the dog world, the more that I'm like uh, wanting to spend time there, but not wanting it to be overly pressurised, and just to spend time with your dogs. I think that's the the best part of it, because mm. everybody here has got a gun dog of some description, and it's just working with your dog and just having fun, really. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. Have you got any plans of doing something like this again in the future? But there is one plan for March time, which is going to be sort of a variety of outdoor activities that you can do with your dog. Mm -hmm. um, we have done something similar before, but with on a smaller scale with a group of friends to see how it went. So mm -hmm. Now having done this one, I think it, I think it is very feasible. Yeah. yeah. Crack on and keep the north busy with positive trainers, well, every, please. Every, every time you want to do anything with dogs, you seem to have to travel down to the Midlands or beyond. And yeah. It, it's yeah. a very long way from Cumbria, I've discovered, since yeah. I moved up here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, and... We know there's going to be people that, um, you know, slightly dog mad people like me and you will travel those distances to get the training at times. But there's people that might just go, that's a little bit too far, me dog will be okay. And actually, if we had it local, you know, they might be thinking, oh, let's give it a go. And then they find out something that they didn't know and that changes their kind of perception of them and their dogs. And you're thinking, well, there has to be some people who are going to graft on it and make it happen, like yourself and Jane. and. Maybe me if I uh, find the motivation. It's just saying thank you very much for having us. It's been a pleasure. And, um, and we'll look forward to coming back in the future. So I'm taking a second because everybody else is working and as I mentioned earlier, Barney's having a bit of a downtime with his bad leg. Um, but I thought I'd just grab a second with Jane and just ask her a little bit about the weekend, what's been going on and, and how everybody's been enjoying it. Tell us a little bit about when you first came up with the idea of going, let's get into Coniston. <laughs> so it was kind of Sandy's idea. <laughs> I thought it would be. Um, and we discussed about doing something uh, up here and she mentioned that she had the woods. We've also got the field as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and there isn't really much going on kind of in the north of England, northwest from a positive gun dog point of view. Yeah. Um, so we had a little chat and discussion and I said, you know, we could kind of do like a serious gun dog training weekend or we could kind of, we, we decided to make it gun dog activity weekend. So it was open for people who do work their, their gun dogs, train positively, but also open to the pet dogs as well. Uh, with people because I tend to see a lot of people who've got pet gun dogs and just want to do a little bit more with them. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I mean, me being an uh, owner of a Springer and not really quite getting it to start off with myself, like finding positive based gun dog trainers yeah. is kind of the thing. Yeah. Um, because you know, you'll know if you work their brain for the way that they're meant to be worked, yeah. 
you get a different dog. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how have some of the people been getting on? What have, what have the personalities been like that have come this weekend? So we've got a mix of experience, um, different people, different breeds. So we've got some HPRs, Labradors, Spaniels, um, different, some people come from agility backgrounds, some are just pet dogs, some do work them, and they've all got on really well. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the group's a really nice bunch of people, the group's mixed well, um, really nice for me because they're all really kind of keen to learn, really pleasant group to teach, so it's, yeah. been, it's been lovely for me too. And just because Sandy's going to be watching, <laughs> what do you think of the cottages? What do you think of Coniston as a place? I've stayed at the cottages before, uh, so this is uh, the second time I've stayed over and I just think they're great because Sandy is um, its its really dog friendly, she supplies all the covers for beds and so on in the, in the cottages. Um, you've got the field there, fabulous walk, so I just think it's, if, if you've got dogs and you want to get away, it's, it's perfect. Northumberland and it has been a peculiar weekend for the fact that I came expecting to work Barney the whole weekend and I couldn't um, and that's kind of like playing on my mind a lot you know you know what it's like when your dog just isn't as happy as possibly could be and you just want to do anything for him and he can't um, so that's that's played on my mind but on the positive side of it all, it's been a lovely weekend to spend some time with like-minded people, uh, learning some fantastic exercises and just some basic stuff that I don't think... So, yeah, so when you do obedience classes and you learn how to do the good citizen stuff, it's good because you get manners with your dog. But breed-specific stuff is, is often not in there because you've got many dogs of different... Uh, breed backgrounds that kind of just need all need the same kind of tutorage um, and so I, I never really learned possibly because I was worried about going out to a more punishment based gun dog session um, and possibly just because I wasn't I got a spaniel and I was I, I just liked the look of the pup and didn't know much about him so that wasn't in my mindset anyway having said that it's been good because I've now got some exercises to play with Bill when we go home and he is better. Um, I, I'm gonna be, I've got a lot of small details that I can remember now that I can think about when I'm out with him. And and in general, just, just good to take in information that was like that. Um, Sandy's cottages were lovely. I think I'll be finding time to bring Lou over and we stay properly. Um, and have maybe a week of it because there seems to be some cracking walks around here and yeah and that's really it um, hope you've enjoyed the vlog any questions about gun dog stuff ask Jane um, and tune in next week when Barney becomes a cyborg woof